Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we'll be looking for one of the factors of this polynomial. So today we'll be using the trial and error method to factor this problem. All right, let's begin then. We're going to first take the factors that make 5x squared and place them in two sets of parentheses, right? So we have here 5x, and in the second parentheses set we have just 1x. And we're going to look at the factors of negative 6 as well so that we can find the combination that makes 13x's when we do the FOIL of these two terms. And the factors of negative 6 are going to be negative 1 and 6, negative 2 and positive 3, negative 3 and positive 2, and negative 6 and positive 1. Now what we want to do here is we want to do what we call a trial and error. We want to test each set of factors into the set of parentheses until we can get the distribution to give us a positive 13x for the middle term. To do that, we're going to multiply by inserting these two factors into the parentheses set. So here we'll have negative 1 and here we'll have positive 6. And we're going to take 5x times 6, which is 30x's, and we're going to take negative 1 times 1x, which is negative 1x, and add them up. Here we see 30x minus 1x is 29x's, which is too big, right? We're looking for a 13x, and this doesn't seem to be giving us the sum that we want. So we're going to try again with another set. So we know this set of factors don't work. We're going to try the second set of factors now. So here we have negative 2 and positive 3. Now we have 5x's times positive 3. That's going to be positive 15x's. We have negative 2 times positive 1. This here gives us negative 2x's. When we add these two up, we get positive 13x's. So here we have our factors then. Our factors are going to be 5x's minus 2, multiplying by 1x plus 3. Now we're not done with the problem yet, right? So we have to take a look at the exam and see which of these are the four, or one of the four answers that we have available. Our answers are as follows. The option A is x minus 3. Option B is 5x plus 2. Option C is 5x minus 3. And option D shows x plus 3. Now, here we see our factors, and the correct solution for this is going to be D, x plus 3. This is exactly what we have here, all right? After finishing the trial and error method, we're now going to move on to the grouping method. To do the grouping method, it's similar to the AC method, just we're going to find something to substitute the middle term with, with two terms instead of one. So our first step here is going to be to take the A term and the B term, I mean and the C term, and multiply them. So we have 5x squared, and we also have negative 6, and we're going to multiply these two, and they become negative 30x squared. And our goal here is to find the two factors that multiply to make negative 30x squared, but add up to positive 13x. So we're going to create a full list of factors and sum them each up to see what the possible sums are, and then find the correct sum and substitute it out. So here our first factor, list, our first factor on this list of factors is going to be negative 1x and positive 30x's. Our second factor for negative 30 is negative 2x's plus 15x's. Our third, negative 3x plus 10x's. Then we have negative 5x's plus 6x's, negative 6x's plus 5x's, negative 10x's plus 3x's, negative 15x's plus 2x's, and finally, negative 30x's plus 1x. Now, here what we want to do is add each set of factors up to see what they add up to. Now, this might not be so useful today, but any day you get a different middle term, it could be useful, so it's just good practice. So here we have 29x's, here we have 13x's, here we have 7x's, here we have 1x, and where the numbers switch, we're going to notice the signs are going to change on this list. So here we're going to have negative 1x, here we have negative 7x's, followed by negative 13x's, and finally negative 29x's. Now we see we can make all the opposite sums happen, but we're looking particularly for 13x's. 
So we see here we have the substitution we're looking for. Negative 2x plus 15x. So here we're going to take this term and we're going to separate it into two new terms. So we have 5x squared minus 2x's plus 15x's take away 6. And now what we're going to do is we're going to separate this into two groups so we can factor each group by pairs. So the first two will be our first group and we have 5x squared take away 2x's and here the only common factor they have is just x. And what's left over is going to be a 5x take away 2 once we take away the GCF. Now for our second group we have positive 15x's and negative 6. This is a really important step when you're factoring. Whatever the third term sign is, you're going to factor out, firstly. Secondly, we're looking for the common factor of the two terms again. So between 15x's and negative 6, the only common factor they have is just 3. And now what's left over inside is going to be 5x's take away 2. Now that we did the first set of grouping, we're going to do the second set of grouping here. We're looking for the common factor within the two terms, and here we see that it's 5x minus 2. And so we're going to factor out the 5x minus 2. And the two terms in the front that are left in front of the 5x minus 2, we're going to put in another set of parentheses following the 5x minus 2. So we'll get x plus 3 in the second set. Now this is it for the factoring.